So what we're going to do is start off with a math talk. So we're going to solve each equation mentally or with paper and pencil as needed. So I'm looking at this first equation and we have 40 plus or 40 minus 8 equals 40 plus n. Well, I notice that these first numbers are both 40. So n would have to equal minus 8. So we can just say there n would have to equal. And we don't say minus 8. You just say negative 8. So we could say 40 minus 8 is equal to 40 plus negative 8. They're the same thing. So similarly here, if I have 25 plus negative 100, that's the same as 25 minus. Well, instead of plus negative 100, you can think of that as 25 minus 100. So we know here that n would have to equal 100. And that is because 25 plus negative 100 is the same as saying 25 minus 100. So again, you have two symbols there. Plus negative 100 is the same as 25 minus 100. So here, 3 minus 1 half is the same as 3 plus. Well, n would have to equal there negative 1 half. Because again, if I'm wanting to minus a half, I can add negative 1 half and do that. So our equation there is 3 minus 1 half is the same as 3 plus negative 1 half. And then here, 72 minus blank is the same as 72 plus 6. Well, the only way to add when you're subtracting would be if I subtracted a negative. So we could think of this as n is going to be negative 6. So if I subtract negative 6, that's the same as adding 6. So this means 72 minus negative 6 is the same as 72 plus 6.